Welcome back. We're going to work now on the back panel of the morning code. And um, as we did with your skirt, we're going to apply linen tape along your um, pleat. So again, if you look very close, um, you're, you've got the marking on your pleat. So I'm going to also shade that with the chalk so you see exactly where um, what I'm talking about. So, so that's part of your pleat and then you've got your seam allowance here. So this is your seam allowance and this here is your pleat. Yeah, so all that. Um, for um, As we did previously, we're going to put linen tape to stabilize your pleat. And this quite often happens that people, you know, just press in that panel and it gets very, very stretched. So it's good for you to also to check with your other panel to check, make sure it's uh, the same, the same length. Um, so for this one, you will need it. Your um, linen tape, cut it on straight of grain and it's a um, width of the five centimeters, exactly the same how we did in the skirt. So five centimeters similar. Oh, sorry, five centimeters the width of the um, tape. Then um, you need to fold it about one centimeter, as, is, as you know, you can mark that and then fold it accurately. So I um, already know how much fold it. That helps us to place our tape. If you look, you can't see that. So right from where the hem starts, so it doesn't include into the hem and press next to your um, markings where the pleats starts and we're going to tack that. Single thread of your tucking, tucking thread. And it's now, I've got the creasing line which just helps me to know where exactly I'm going to go. So if I just turn around so you maybe see better so another side, so you can see my, yes, yeah, so what I'm marking. Okay. So, so it doesn't include it, but if it goes slightly longer, we can trim it there. Okay, can you see that? So that's a match with my marking, fold it over, and then start tucking. along your crease line. Okay, you need to smooth your linen tape. So you don't stretch it, but smooth it so it's straight. Mm -hmm. So it holds better. So don't make it um, your thread too tight. And keep following. And the thread is finished here. So I'm just going to change thread. Okay, and secure. Perfect. So just going to trim that. Yeah. Now, um, if you look, it's um, it slightly goes over. So I'm just going to trim that so it doesn't go into my similar. 
the next part we need to trim that part so you've got long enough here it goes to your waistline so i would like you to continue to extend your um tape that will be you know to your waistline if it's slightly shorter that's fine as well so i'm going to cut that so that's perfect and then we need to attach your ta um, tape permanently uh, with your um, with your matching thread so you've got black I've got black thread um, the color of my um, top coat and it's uh, the same in the same manner as we did with your skirt so attached you know by um, just only taking one little um, thread of your top fabric and um, touch so it doesn't go through that side um, you attach your that so you can use like you can like bubble loop um, uh, or you can use your herringbone stitch in the same way as we did the other linen tapes so the next part would be is attaching your linen tape into your vent so it's very very important you do that and for this you will need to cut your linen tape it's slightly bigger seven um seven centimeters width will be again on straight of grain and that will be applied into your um into your vent so just your vent is is here so again i'm going to shade that so you can see exactly what i'm talking about and you will have so you will have like um a step here so this one will be your center center back here's your center back so if you look that will be your center back here that and that will give you like a step that's that's where your um vent will start okay so that's starting of your vent um so we're going to apply linen tape in that area as well so again start from um from your waist here to the bottom of your um hem and for this one you don't need to fold your um, fabric you're just going to follow the um markings so i'm going to attach attach your tape Yeah, make sure it's not smooth so you smooth your tape try not to stretch your top fabric so this uh, lean tip is to prevent stretchiness touching that That's it, right to the bottom of your hem. Okay, so I'm going to cut here. So my seam allowance, that's where my seam allowance finished. So, so I'm going to cut that just above of my where my hem starts. I'm just attaching my tape permanently. There we go. Yeah, so secure my foot. And now we need to attach your tape permanently. And again, in the same manner as we did with your other skirt, with your um, fret, which is marching fret, and you attach it on that side. Okay, so you leave that, and you leave here, but you are attaching it you're touching the inside both of your tape need to be attached inside so i will um i will do the example i'll show the example so i'm going to do it myself and i'll show you example on the next um, um next film so yeah please do watch it bye